Hi, it's Carrie Berry, and I'm gonna be talking about some bad dragon toys today. Sizes, densities, and other options that you can pick and deal with on the website when ordering. Our come to application, you know, the syringe, and how to load that, how to deal with the tubes, uh, cleaning, beginner bad dragon tutorial today. Yes, these are very expensive and I would consider it an investment if you're a sex toy collector like myself or if you're professionally into it in the sex um, industry like myself. Um, these are definitely worth the investment coming from someone who already has seven. <laughs> when I first purchased from Bad Dragon, I got this one which is a ready-made as is Guardian. This toy comes in only one size and this is its natural coloration so it has this cool marbleized base and this nice uh, deep purple shaft color. It's got um, what I believe is a nine inch knot. Let's see. All the way around and spot on at nine inches around for that knot you can see right there. The materials that they're made out of is what's um, extremely attractive to me. And when I first got the Guardian, you can see in my first video that I made with one how um, pleased I was at this sensation. So I've already gone over the Guardian, so I think I'll move on to the second toy I bought, which was the Medium Chance. Both of these are in medium densities. The densities also have a number association and I think medium is five and firm is eight. So extra soft would be one. And then it's weird because there's nothing in between medium and firm, but there's soft and extra soft. So I don't like using the numbers because it just confuses me. I'm like, well then what's soft? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> This is a medium firmness, and it's medium size as well. My next uh, Bad Dragon toy that I'm getting, um, actually I, I just ordered one and it's coming, but the next one I'm gonna be ordering is a large chance. I like the horsies. So um, this is obviously equine in nature. And uh, some of these you can tell are modeled after um, actual real life animals, if you will, uh, like, you know, you have um, an equine, <laughs> you have a canine, and uh, you have uh, aqueous. <laughs> so, and then you get into, you know, their, their whole shtick, because they're called bad dragon. So you could say the flint, the nova, and the guardian would all be dragons or dinosaurs or something like that. And then this Roland, I believe, is a mix of um, like a canine dragon type thing, I think is the picture that it showed. It's really cool because if you get on the site, each toy has its own little backstory. So that's kind of fun. I don't really read them, but the pictures are fun. <laughs> so let's move on to the flint. This is a small flint in firm and this is in the coloration of fifth kind. So fifth kind is glow in the dark blue. Some different uses. I really love anal play. So a lot of these toys were bought for that purpose specifically and with different purposes specifically in mind, like possibly stretching or depth play. This one I got for stretching specifically. That's why it's a stout, wider, and firm toy with kind of a more narrow base so it's easy to insert. And uh, one that's uh, longer and skinnier, of course, is gonna be more for depth play. Now I can get this all the way down here in my butt. So that means it's definitely going um, up into my sigmoid colon and I've never had an issue with that comfort wise. 
something like this. I'm gonna tell you right now, when this pops through your sigmoid colon, it's not going to feel very good. At least it didn't for me. It can be jarring, cold, uh, kind of like a cervical opening feeling. Ah. But these toys have never uh, given me a problem with pain. In fact, it's extremely pleasurable. However, I did have an issue with this Roland. It's infirm. I used this anally and I tried to knot it, which I probably could have done width-wise. I know I can dilate my booty probably well no actually this is what I'm trying to get to I think right now I'm at like six and a half seven dilation comfortably and I'm trying to stretch to eight that's why I just got my new Ica I got a medium Ica which at the base tapers to a circumference of eight inches. So that's gonna help me stretch and that's gonna be my next anal video. You can tell in the video when I used this Roland, it's a little painful because when this popped into my sigmoid colon, it was too firm. So if you're going to be buying a toy, a long toy for depth play, get it in a medium firmness. Not soft, not firm. Too soft, you won't be able to insert it too firm, you're going to encounter some pain or some dif discomfort, I would say most likely. Has anyone used a long toy in, in soft or extra soft and been able to successfully insert it? <laughs> Which I have a big problem with, insertion. So I try to find, as you can see, a lot of my toys have a very tapered, triangular almost tip. And then this guy, I mean, he almost puts himself in, I'll tell you what, with this little bead. That's another thing. They're very um, grabby. <laughs> I keep everything in these nice bins back here to keep them all dust free. N never stand up. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Put him on his side. Going through all of them, because I know I'm a busybody and I'm scatterbrained and all over the place. We have a medium chance in a custom split marble and I got this in, I, I created my own custom colors for this and everything. But this is what you get when you get a custom split marble. You get a solid color on the bottom, and then you choose your two colors to marble up through. And this is how the marbleization usually comes through. It doesn't look all chunky and weird like the site lays it out with the color. I've heard that you can get a suction cup put on a chance with a comb tube if you put it on a custom ticket. And I'll talk more later about custom tickets. Once I encounter them, I've never done them in medium firmness. This is a large tentacle in medium firmness. Hard to insert in the butt. I kind of like rubbing it on myself. So the fact that it's really large is kind of useless to me and I might get rid of it. I might sell this. This is its natural coloration, the light natural. So this is the purple and light green. This is a large Roland in firm in opal coloration. This is the large Rex in medium firmness in BD Red. This is a medium Nova with the suction cup cum tube in medium firmness and I believe this color is called ectoplasm. It's a pretty cool marbly green. I really love it. This is a small flint in firm in fifth kind. Cum tubes and dealing with cum lube. Let's talk about the syringes. This is a BD syringe. This is a syringe that you'd get with a regular squirting cock. So, big difference. I think it's almost double the capacity. All right, cum tube safety. <laughs> to load your cum, tube, cum lube into your syringe, first off, you wanna connect your tube. You see these, it has threads in here inside the column. You wanna push your tube firmly, but straight all the way through up into the column so that the threads are gripping it on there. You want to remove the plunger and fill up your amount, desired amount of cum lube in there. Before you do that, make sure that the tip is placed somewhere where any excess fluid that comes out is going to be okay where it comes out. 
So if you, you don't want to be like, okay, I'm going to put this on the couch right now and then fill up my cum lube. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> put a towel under it, <laughs> a tissue, something, because a, quite a bit of excess fluid is going to come out even if you follow these steps that I'm going to lay out for you next. Put in your desired amount of cum fluid in here. Gently, just slightly, Press in the plunger, like so. Hold, turn over immediately. Hold, okay? You wanna make sure that nothing's coming out here, but you want your air bubble up here. Press, you're gonna have a stop. Push it, now you don't. See this line? It was stopping you on purpose. It's a safety feature. So you need to push it past that point. Usually when you push it past that point, that is when something pushes out because of the air pressure. It's gonna push whatever stuff was in the tube. Now you wanna push your air bubble through. It's usually gonna be about to there. And then you're gonna have your cum fluid. When filling up your cum fluid, add a little bit more than you think you need because the tube is going to steal some from you. It's gonna stay all in there and it's not gonna get into your precious body. <laughs> so there's nothing you can really do about that unless you take the tube out and fucking siphon it, which would be disgusting, so. <laughs> so that is filling. Oh, cleaning now. Once you're done and you have depressed. <laughs> it just sprayed me there's a little water in there <laughs> and there's come all in here and come all on here and you just want to get yourself to the bathroom take it to the shower with you all right once you're in the shower you take this deal off right here I hold it right up to my water I fill it up at least three four times flush it through yeah I go at least three or four times flushing the water through completely until every element all the components of your toy is clean so you want to make sure that there's nothing in there and it's flowing properly your tube is clean and you know flush through once that's done you put your plunger back on and you remove the tube make sure that's far away <laughs> just in case and then wrap up the tube like this and tuck it Kind of try and make sure that it's got a loop otherwise it'll kind of start undoing itself sometimes like this does i don't like that so that's my little first tutorial on bad dragon toys i hope you all enjoyed it stay tuned on more because i'm going to be getting more toys i want to do an unboxing for my new ica that's coming soon so stay tuned for that and uh, there's a holiday hottie contest i'm entered in if you all could help me with that check out the details for it on my subreddit uh, slash r slash carryberry underscore 420. Also, my subreddit is a great place to see all the news for me and a bunch of free content too. It is NSFW though, so tread lightly. <laughs>